I say bananas, you say peppers, and today we are doing a pin swatching video. I have not made one of these in months, and you guys, I maybe even got this mystery pin pack at the end of 2022. So I think I actually have like three or four of these that I have not filmed just sitting around. When I first got this in the mail, I feel like I had just been making like pin swatching and stationary videos. And I was like, oh my God, I cannot make another one of these right now. So I just started shoving these in my desk drawer and it was kind of like out of sight, out of mind type thing. And now I kind of feel like I've gone down the mini brands path in the same way where like my last four videos have been like mini brands related. So let's switch it back to stationary for a little bit. So, oh, you know what? Let me actually, I'm now utterly out of frame as well, talking to you guys. Look, as I get these journals, you can talk to Mr. Skeleton up there. Okay, he's gonna keep you company while I find our swatching journals. Cause it's kind of funny, you guys, it's funny and not funny at the same time that I cannot find our normal swatching tablets. Is this a good one? Ah, this is probably as good as it's getting today for the like blank paper, even though it is not blank. Also, I feel like I should show you guys this. This video is all over the place today. The Haunted Mask. Too. This video is kind of all over the place today. A little bit of hectic energy going on, you guys, because we are about to have another deep freeze here in Houston, Texas. I'm not looking forward to it. I do not like it. Sam, I am. Not one single bit. And <laughs> so, like, we have been winter storm preparing for like the last two days and uh I'm, I'm really not looking forward to it like yesterday it was like 75 degrees two days from now it's gonna be like 19 degrees i feel like this is like some of the scariest weather next to hurricanes which I also don't like. I don't think anybody likes those. Maybe some people do, like thrill seekers, storm chasers. I am neither. <sighs> okay, let's clear our minds, sippy sippy, and we'll finally get started three minutes into the video. <sighs> All right, so excitingly enough, I'm pretty sure uh, the theme of today is Vincent, v v <sighs> Vincent Van Gogh. I just learned his name is actually pronounced Van Gogh. Van Gogh? I can't say that. So it's gonna be Vincent Van Gogh to me. Vinnie Van Gogh. And uh, they included this Starry Night sticker. Oh, look at that. It's kind of like metallic-ish. I almost said it's Metallica. First, we're just gonna, I'm gonna flash the pins before your eyes and then we're gonna swatch them. I have a swatching camera down here. You guys, I also feel like it's been so long since I have done like a two camera video. All right, you guys, up first, two of my absolute favorite types of pens. I do always say how much I love these mystery packs because these are two colors I feel like I would never get for myself and I definitely do not have them, but I do love, absolutely love these Emot pens. I discovered them by chance a couple of years ago. I'm pretty sure from Jet Pens. Now I am obsessed with them. I recently got my mom obsessed with them. They are amazing. Something that I know very well and love, and I talk about these all the time as like my absolute favorite pins. We have three different jelly rolls to swatch today. It looks like one metallic and what is the camera focusing on? One metallic and two sparkly. Oh, the ones with the sparkly caps do say metallic. And then the other one says, oh, gold. I'm thinking that that's either gonna be the gold outline or the fabled one that I feel like I've talked about a million times where like the ink like becomes gold. Another favorite is the Pintel Sparkle Pop. I would think I would have this one, but it's not one that like a 
immediately comes to mind. Y'all, it's wanting to focus on everything, but I have my normal camera down here for the swatching camera. This is a camera that I don't use as much and it's like, it's not good for the up close things. So Sparkle Pop. Now this looks like basic silver. Is it gonna swatch differently? I don't know. All right, you guys, up next. Let's see if these are actually all the same. Two are the same, one is different. This is another one that I talk about all the time. I actually like really ended up liking these pens through one of these mystery pen packs because the packaging, I'm not all about it, but the right of these and the color range, amazing. The Stabilo pen, 68. Two of these are the regular pen 68s and then one is pen 68 brush. Once again, three colors that I would not normally buy except for this one, the brush one. A little bit like Shrek green. And you guys, I've been thinking about doing a video like that for years where I would like put together like themed stationery, like Shrek themed stationery. So I feel like that would be like, you know, part of the Shrek collection, the Shrek collection. Tombow twin tone. I definitely have some of these. I don't think I have this shade, which is pale purple. I do love these. I don't know why I don't pick them up as much as I probably should, but there is a finer pin tip on this and then like a broader, more markery side, which you would think I would love that. I love writing with markers. But you know what I think I need to get more of for this year is the little markers that are like the dot tip. I swear one end is like a writing tip and then the other end is almost like a dot shaped stamper. I don't remember what those are called. I think I only have one of them. All right, and then the last one is a Tombow ABT. And I'm trying to see the shade. I cannot see. But once again, it's like this one. Yeah, these are both Tombow, but this one's ABT. This one's called Twin Tone. I don't know. They're kind of similar, kind of different because this also has a thinner side and a thicker marker side. So I really only think we're going to have to break out the black paper for a couple of the pens, like maybe four of them. So I think that's what I'm going to do is set them aside. I feel like normally I used to like go in order exactly of like the order I just showed them to you guys in. But why do that when we can just do chaos? I almost feel like this would make more sense though to do it like that if you keep watching you'll see so let me get the second camera angle all set up and we will start swatching all right everybody i hope we have some good swatching angles so up first the two emot pins and let's try this peachy pink which honestly i'm gonna throw a photo in here the color of the year this year the pantone color is peach fuzz and I'm really not into it. I don't know. I don't know why. It just, it doesn't speak to me. Although I guess like now thinking about it, like do I ever really like the Pantone colors of the year? Does that really mean anything to me? But I just would like to hear from you guys. Is this a good camera angle? Probably literally not. You guys, it's been so long, so long since I've done this. Let's zoom y'all in. Hopefully that is a little bit better. But yeah, I'm just like, dang, is this like, a popular color like do people like this like I don't know like it's I feel like I'm like just being mean now I'm being mean to a color but I feel like it's just kind of like a bland color it's just not it's not very exciting enough of roasting peach fuzz that sounds disgusting this looks like it's gonna be a kind of like evergreen hunter green I suddenly cannot sign my name I wish I had like shades for you guys I don't I wish more brand Brands like would put shades, like what it's called, like pale twinkle purple or something. Okay, the next pen that we're gonna do are the Stabilo ones. I always wanna call these like pin 78 or something. I feel like there is another one that is like called something very similar, but slightly different. Um, ooh, this is like really, really pretty. I love this shade of blue. It's honestly like clearer to read. I feel like normally I'm not drawn to like pastel stuff because normally I'm not drawing or writing on like darker paper. And so I'm always scared it's gonna be like not as legible. It's gonna be like more pastel. And I would have kind of assumed that this was gonna be more like 
like that, but I really love this one. And it is like a beautiful sky blue, robin's egg blue. So now let's swatch this one, which, you know what? I'm gonna swatch that here next to this one because they look, ooh, this is actually like quite different. I thought that the color was gonna be very similar to the Emot one we just swatched because they both looked like they were gonna be like hunter green, tree green, but together they do look quite different. So that, that is also fun. Now up last is the brush one. Y'all also leave me a comment down below. Like, do these look like Vincent Van Gogh colors or did I grab the wrong thing? Let's swatch that up here. These are the two pin differences between the normal tip and the brush tip. So let's go ahead. Ooh, yeah. This is like one of those things I say all the time where I feel like I'm unqualified to have a brush tip marker just because I feel like I would mess it up or something, but I love this color. It really is like a Shrek green. Okay, on to these two pens, the Twin Tone in Pale Purple. Let me find a good swatching area here. Okay, this is actually the thicker side. Let me do this side instead. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I wonder if these actually have a similar tip. Oh my gosh. Yeah, pale purple. See, that's what I'm saying. I'm kind of nervous about this because you can barely read it. I was kind of wondering if these and the Emot pens had a similar right because I'm pretty sure the Emot pens is actually a felt tip pen concealed in a hard plastic tip so that you can write with the pen easier and not like squish the tip but this is like way finer and I think unfortunately for me the combination of very thin tip plus pale color makes this somewhat illegible to me. I love the color, but I feel like I just would not like gravitate to it as much because you can't really read it. But I do love the marker tip and I feel like that's once again kind of like the sky blue pen. I feel like both of these like despite the fact that they're more pastel, more pale, um, you can still like read them, write with them very easily on white paper. All right, you guys, last Tombow ABT before we get to the magical black paper. So I'm going to swatch this pin near this one because I'm kind of curious how similar are they going to be? Because once again, like the two green ones, they look very similar. Maybe they're going to be quite different. So this is the thinnest tip for this pin. Oh, wow. I really was not expecting a teal from this. You guys, does this look teal? Like more like turquoise? Um, and then here is the very thick, um, I would say artistic side. Um, ooh, yeah, this is like really pretty. Very thick brush tip. Once again, I'm so glad to have this one in my collection though, because I would definitely probably never select like a teal or a turquoise, which is so funny. I'm kind of curious what this pin is called, if it is called teal or turquoise. I do like turquoise and I feel like I randomly would pick something called turquoise, but never would I pick something called teal, which is so weird because I love the shade blue and I love the shade green but I feel like teal is like that weird y'all I guess today's video is just me roasting colors all right let's jump to these four let's randomly do the Pentel sparkle pop first so let's find out is this just gonna be like normal basic silver or oh I really love this I'm actually not sure how well y'all can see. Okay, as it dries, it gets like more, like you can you can see it better. At first it almost looked like a Jelly Roll product I've not had in a really long time, but one I do always really love, which is actually like a crystal topper. Like there is no shade to the ink, it's just like glitter. So you can like add glitter accents to stuff. I'm pretty sure I talked about that like forever ago. Okay, let's see what is the black sparkle pin going to look like on the black paper. These are the jelly rolls. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is so cool. 
These are metallic. So I'm about to try this one on white paper as well because I'm curious like how different it's gonna look because on this paper it looks completely silver but I wonder if on white paper it's gonna look black. Um, and then this is the other metallic one. So we'll swatch these on white paper as well because I think these are maybe it was called the sparkle pop. Do y'all remember those pens we tested years ago on this channel where they looked different on white paper versus black paper? Okay and then I'm excited to see what this one is gonna do. It is called gold jelly roll gold. So let's see. Yeah I think that this is the one that I always talk about. Yeah I can see it changing where it starts off like red or whatever shade this is supposed to be like rose or something but it starts off that shade and then the longer that it sits and dries down it turns gold i'm gonna see if i can get like a little iphone clip of that as well y'all my gigantic pop socket it's almost like instantaneous it's really hard <laughs> to capture but let me go ahead and swatch all the pins on white paper and then i will just put them side by side because I feel like this video is really long already probably. Okay so I'm gonna do them in order and then y'all will see super quickly and then we'll have our beautiful conclusion. All right you guys shockingly I really feel like they don't look that different. Y'all let me know if y'all are seeing something different than I am. I do feel like this one looks more silver on white paper, more kind of just transparent sparkle on the black paper. This one you get more of a like dark silver I guess on white paper where it just looks like purely normal silver on black paper. This one really looks the same to me, like on the black and the white paper. It's kind of like no change. Um, this one also, I would say, has the biggest shift. I, I thought it would still look like mostly gold once it had dried on the white paper, but it actually does retain more of this pin cap shade, like the kind of like rose red shade. Whereas once it dries on the black paper, it just looks like purely gold. So yeah, I honestly feel like this, even though you would think it's better on black paper, I think maybe this would be like more exciting to use on white paper because I feel like every shade in this type of pen, like whether it looked blue, red, pink, whatever, it's always going to look like just purely gold on the black paper. So it's kind of like, what's the point? Just use a gold pen, you know? So that is everything today. I feel like this is a pretty exciting one. I almost feel like all of them do fit like Vincent Van Gogh, just thinking of like self-portraits or like landscapes and stuff, like thinking of like a blue sky, green grass. I feel like they all fit except for this one, like this kind of almost like fuchsia pink kind of shade would be one that I don't really think of like Vincent Van Gogh when I see this color. But I feel like all the rest of them definitely it makes sense. I'm gonna have to say my favorite one of the day is this sparkle pop. I feel like it's gonna be so fun to do accents with this. So I either have never somehow had this one or it's been like so long that I forgot how amazing it is. And I feel like shockingly, unfortunately, my least favorite is the thin side of the pale purple just cause like basically, I don't feel like you could read that very well for like writing, which is mostly what I do is like writing in a planner, a journal, whatever. So that to me would be the one I would use the least. Anyway, you guys, let me know. Have you missed videos like this? Does this make you think Vincent Van Gogh? Let me know all of you guys' thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Thank y'all so, so much for hanging out with me today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below. Subscribe, become a member of the Banana Pepper Squad today. And until I see you guys again, which is going to be very, very soon, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I love you guys so much. Bye!